Hi Fresno Unified students, welcome to week two. Like last week, I will be reviewing clef, key signature, and time signature. I will also be reviewing notes and rhythms. I'm going to use the same procedure as last week. I do, we do, you do. That means I'm going to demonstrate something. I'm going to give you a chance to practice. Then we're going to do it together. And then you're going to do it on your own. And we're going to do that for each exercise. Hi, advanced trombone players. We're going to start week two's lessons off with exercise one. First up, this is bass clef. Everybody say bass clef. Bass clef is the clef that trombones play in. What clef do you play in? Bass clef. And that's what bass clef looks like. Now we're going to move on to your key signature. Your key signature has two flats. That tells you all Bs and Es are flat. What does it tell us when there's two flats in the key signature? All Bs and Es are flat. One more time, what notes are flat? All Bs and Es are flat. That means whether the E is on the staff, above the staff, or below the staff, or the B is on the staff, above the staff, or below the staff, wherever the B or E are, they're always going to be flat. Now we're going to move on to time signature. We're in 4-4 four, four time. The top four tells us there are four beats in a measure. What does the top four tell us? There are four beats in a measure. One more time, what does the top four tell us? There are four beats in a measure. The bottom four tells us the quarter note gets one beat. What does the bottom four tell us? The quarter note gets one beat. One more time, what does the bottom four tell us? The quarter note gets one beat. Before we move on to rhythms, I want to go over some concepts with you. The first one is dynamics. Everybody say dynamics. One more time, say dynamics. Dynamics tell you how loud or soft to play. What do dynamics tell you? How loud or soft to play. One more time, what do dynamics tell you? How loud or soft to play. Our dynamic for this piece is marked with a P. That means piano. Piano means to play soft. What does piano mean to do? Play soft. One more time, what does piano mean to do? Play soft. Good. Now we're going to talk about eighth notes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what eighth notes look like. They have beans. These are eighth notes. These are eighth notes. There's beans down here or there's beans up here. These are all eighth notes. Everybody say eighth notes. One more time. Say eighth notes. Ladies and gentlemen, eighth notes are half a beat. How many beats are eighth notes? Half a beat. One more time. How many beats are eighth notes? Half a beat. Now, eighth notes go twice as fast as quarter notes. How much faster are eighth notes than quarter notes? They are twice as fast as quarter notes. One more time. How much faster are eighth notes and quarter notes? They are twice as fast as quarter notes. Please listen and copy what I do. T, 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 T. Your turn. My turn. T, 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 T. Your turn. Now I'm going to use numbers. Please listen, then copy. One and two and three and four and. Your turn. My turn. One and two and three and four and. Your turn. Well, you just clapped and counted were eight eighth notes. Now please listen and repeat it. One, two, and three, four. Your turn. Now let's try it together. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One more time together. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. You just clapped and counted this. The quarter note was on beat one. The eighth note was on beat two. This eighth note was on the end of beat two. And this was beat three, and this quarter note was beat four. So you went one, two, and three, four. Now please listen. One and two, three. Your turn. Now let's try it together. One, two, three, four. One and two, three. One more time. One, two, three, four. One and two, three. You just clapped and counted this rhythm. The first eighth note was on beat one. The second eighth note was on the end of beat one. This quarter note was beat two, this quarter note was on beat three, and was a, there was a rest here. So you went one and two, three. Let's try that one more time. One, two, together, go. One and two, three. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do one more. Please listen. You're going to rest on beat one. Two and three, four. One more time. Two and three, four. Your turn. Now let's try it together. When I count to four, make sure you rest on beat one. One. Two, three, four. Two and three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. Two and three, four. You just clapped and counted this. There was a rest on beat one. This eighth note was on beat two. This eighth note was on the end of beat two. This quarter note was on beat three. This quarter note was on beat four. So you went rest, two and three, four. Let's try that one more time together. One, 
two, three, four. Two and three, four. One more thing. This is a dotted half note. Everybody say dotted half note. One more time, say dotted half note. Dotted half notes are three beats. Ladies and gentlemen, how many beats are dotted half notes? Three beats. One more time, how many beats are dotted half notes? Three beats. Please listen. One, two, three. Let's do that together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Again, two, three, four. One, two, three. We are now ready to go over the rhythms. Over here, we have a half note, two quarter notes, a quarter note, two eighth notes, a quarter note, another quarter note, and a dotted half note. Then we have a quarter note. Then we have a half note, and another half note. Then we go to the second line. We have a half note, two quarter notes, two eighth notes, two quarter notes, and a quarter rest. Then we have another quarter rest, two eighth notes, two quarter notes, two quarter notes, and a half note. I am now going to clap and count the rhythms for exercise one at a piano because it's soft. Please listen. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and two, three. Two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. Go ahead and practice on your own. And before we do this together, I wanted to quickly remind you that if you need to practice more, if you messed up, you want to try something again, whatever the reason, you can always rewind. That's the great thing about YouTube. You can always rewind. Now let's try this together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and two, three. Two and three, four, one, two, three, four. Please practice on your own. All right, we are now ready for the notes. Over here we have a half note B flat, and we know it's B flat because all Bs and E's are flat because our key signature tells us that. So half note B flat, a quarter note A, a quarter note B flat, a quarter note B flat, two eighth note C's, a quarter note D, a quarter note E flat, which we know is E flat because our key signature tells us all B's and E's are flat, so this is E flat. A dotted half note F, a quarter note A, a half note B flat, a half note G, then we move on down to the second line. We have a half note B flat, a quarter note C, a quarter note B flat, eighth note A, eighth note G, Quarter note F, a quarter note G, a quarter rest, another quarter rest, an eighth note E flat, an eighth note F, a quarter note G, a quarter note A, a quarter note B flat, a quarter note C, and a half note B flat. Ladies and gentlemen, I am now going to say the notes within the rhythm of exercise one, and I'm going to do it at a piano. Please listen. B flat, A, B flat, B flat, C, C, D, E flat, F. A, B flat, G, B flat, C, B flat, A, G, F, G, E flat, F, G, A, B flat, C, B flat. Please practice on your own. Now we're going to try it together. When I count to four, one, two, three, four. B flat, A, B flat, B flat, C, C, D, E flat, F, A, B flat, G, B flat, C, B flat, A, G, F, G, E flat, F, G, A, B flat, C, B flat. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please try that on your own. We are now ready to move on to exercise two. So in exercise two, 
We have bass clef. Everybody say bass clef. What clef is trombone in? Bass clef. Now we have our key signature. Our key signature has two flats. That tells us all Bs and Es are flat. What does two flats in the key signature tell us? All Bs and Es are flat. Now we're gonna move on to time signature. We're in four, four time. The top four tells us there are four beats in the measure. What does the top four tell us? There are four beats in the measure. The bottom four tells us the quarter note gets one beat. What does the bottom four tell us? The quarter note gets one beat. I am now going to go over the rhythm for exercise two. We have a half note, two quarter notes, a quarter rest, two eighth notes, two quarter notes, another quarter note, two eighth notes, a, a half note, and a dotted half note. Then we have a quarter rest. Then we go down to the second line. We have a half note D. Then we move down to the second line. We have a half note, two quarter notes, a quarter rest, a quarter note, two eighth notes, a quarter note, two eighth notes, a quarter note, a half note, and a quarter note. Then we have a half rest. Ladies and gentlemen, I am now going to clap and count exercise two. Please listen. Also, exercise two, this F means it's at forte. Everybody say forte. Forte means to play loud. What does forte mean to do? Play loud. One more time. What does forte mean to do? Play loud. So I'm going to clap exercise two out of forte. Please listen. One, two, three, four. Two and three, four. One, two and three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Two, three, and four. One, and two, three, four. One, two. Please practice on your own. Let's try it together when I count to four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two and three, four. One, two and three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Two, three and four. One and two, three, four. One, two. Please try that on your own. Now I'm gonna say the notes for exercise two. We have a half note B flat, a quarter note C, a quarter note B flat. Then we have a quarter rest. Then we have an eighth note B flat, an eighth note A, a quarter note G, a quarter note F, a quarter note E flat, two eighth note Ds, a half note C, and a dotted half note B flat. Then we have a quarter rest. Then we move down to the second line. We have a half note D, a quarter note E flat, a quarter note F, a quarter rest, a quarter note D, an eighth note C, an eighth note E flat, a quarter note D, an eighth note C, an eighth note A, a quarter note B flat, a half note C, a half note B flat, and a half rest. Half rests are two silent beats. What are half rests? Two silent beats. I am now going to say the notes within the rhythm of exercise two at a forte. Please listen. B flat, C, B flat, B flat, A, G, F, E flat, D, D, C, B flat. D, E flat, F, D, A, C, B flat, C, A, B flat, C, B flat. Please practice that on your own. Let's try it together when I count to four. One, two, three, four. B flat, C, B flat. B flat, A, G, F, E flat, D, D, C, B flat. D, E flat, F, D, A, C, B flat, C, A, B flat, C, B flat. Now please try that on your own. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to move on to exercise three. Exercise three, we have this clef. What is this clef called? Bass clef. We have two flats in our key signature. What does that tell us? All Bs and Es are flat. 
Now we're on time signature. We're in 4-4 four, four time. What does the top four tell us? There are four beats in a measure. What does the bottom four tell us? The quarter note gets one beat. Our dynamic, it's mezzo piano. What's our dynamic? Mezzo piano, which means what? Medium soft. I am now going to go over the rhythms for exercise three. We have a quarter note, another quarter note, and a half note. Then we have another half note, then a quarter rest, then a quarter note. Then we have a quarter rest, a quarter note, two eighth notes, a quarter note, two eighth notes, a quarter note, and a half note. Then we move down to the second line. We have a dotted half note, a quarter note, two eighth notes, a quarter note, a half note, and a dotted half note. Then we have a quarter note, a half note, and another half note. Ladies and gentlemen, I am now going to clap and count the rhythms for exercise three at a mezzo piano. Please listen. One, two, three, four, one, two. Four, two, three, and four, one, and two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, and two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Please practice on your own. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's try that together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, four. Two, three, and four. One, and two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And please try that on your own. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to go over the notes. First, we have a quarter note D, a quarter note B flat, a half note B flat, a half note C, then a quarter rest, then a quarter note C, then a quarter rest, then a quarter note E flat, an eighth note F, an eighth note E flat, a quarter note D, an eighth note C, an eighth note D, a quarter note B flat, and a half note B flat. Then we go to the second line. We have a dotted half note D, a quarter note F, an eighth note F, an eighth note E flat, a quarter note G, a half note F, a dotted half note G, a quarter note A, a half note B flat, and another half note B flat. Ladies and gentlemen, I am now going to say the notes within the rhythm of exercise three. Please listen, and at mezzo piano. D, B flat, B flat, C, C, E flat, F, E flat, D, C, D, B flat, B flat, D, F, F, E flat, G, F, G, A, B flat, B flat. Please practice on your own. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's try that together when I count to four. One, two, Three, four. D, B flat, B flat, C, C, E flat, F, E flat, D, C, D, B flat, B flat, D, F, F, E flat, G, F, G, A, B flat, B flat. Please try that on your own. Ladies and gentlemen, now you're going to hear what each exercise sounds like on the trombone. Hi, advanced trombones. We're going to start week two with exercise one, but first, we need to cover a few new notes that we didn't have last week. So, our first new note is low A in the first space. Low A is pretty easy. Just put it in second position, low A. Another new note that we have that we didn't have last week would be a high C above the staff on the first ledger line. Just toss it right out in here in sixth position and you've got your high C covered. Make sure you keep an eye on your dynamics, keep an eye on your key signature, and you should be ready to go. Here's exercise one, starts nice and quiet.
exercise two. Thank <laughs> you.